Hello, people of the internet. I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to Dishonored. Last we left off, we had made our way through the Flood District, and now we are in the old Dunwall sewers, and we're looking for the sewer key, which apparently Slackjaw has. And apparently, it's I'm not Slackjaw that has it. Boil off the nasty fat and sinew, and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granorak, stop. Stop what you're doing. Can't we at least talk about it? My knife's gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. Granny Rags was insane. That's not anything new. So let's talk to Slackjaw here. Mass man. Fancy you showing up down here. Mm-hmm. Fancy me showing Look up. Look at the pickle I'm in. Word is all over the street about your little secret, Corvo. You know. You're the one that acts the Empress. I didn't! Makes sense why you run around wearing that mask. Maybe you could help me out, since we're friends and all. It's not my fight, but I'll consider it. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. No, that's crazy. You know what? I don't care for Slackjaw. He's a man of his word, though. He took care of the Pendletons nice and easy. I don't like how he thinks I killed the Embers, but everybody does. We'll clear that up later. Granny Rags, however... You are one crazy bitch, and you need to die. Not going to help Granny? Well, yeah. I'm disappointed. You better leave. Oh, I'll leave in a minute. Strange smelling manuscript. Stronger than Scrimshaw. Uh, that's the ingredients that she is doing. Slackjaw. Granny Rags has to die. Oh no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. You won't be doing anything like that, Granny. What the? Look around. There's a cameo for young girl. Where'd she go? She disappeared, and I have to find her cameo. But she's not got a cameo appearance. She's an active player in this game. Um, kill her. Granny Rags is dead. And there's a ton of rats. And they're coming for me. Uh, grenade. Prime the grenade. Toss the grenade. Prime the grenade. Toss the grenade. They're still coming. They won't stop coming. What the? She's still alive? How the fuck is she still alive? Okay. Um, Hide me from his view. Hide me. What the? What the? All the rats are hostile on me? You think you're going to save him? He's not worth it. Now Granny is going to kill you just like all the others. You're not going to kill me at all, what Granny. Right uh, oh, take Granny's you. cameo. Okay, we got Granny Rex's cameo. Now what? Now what? Um, destroy it in the furnace. Okay. Open that up. And, um, place the cameo in the furnace. And, it's too late for and then close the furnace, maybe? And the fires go on. For you. Die. You're a fool to try to help him. A fool. No, I'm not a fool. Now, die! So, Granny Rags was being kept alive by a Horcrux. Granny Rags had a fucking Horcrux. That crazy old bat had a friggin' Horcrux. The 
outsider in the circumcised void. Sokolov painted this. A very accurate representation. Some sleep darts here. So Granny Rags was what Voldemort was. She was a whor she had a horcrux that kept her alive all this time. Well now her horcrux has been incinerated. Unless of course that isn't fiend fire that's running that furnace, of course. But Granny Rags has been dealt with. We don't have to worry about her anymore. She was crazy. She had been helpful at first, but by the end, she just became plain old nuts and yeah. Unlock me. Of course. Slackjaw. Wanna know something funny? What? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Turned then we grew dream. up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. That you were. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. Thank you, Slackjaw. It's a good amount of coin. It'll be helpful. Maybe you're not so bad. You're better than Granny Rags, clearly. While you do run a gang, you don't kidnap and kill innocent people. At least as far as, as I'm aware. You seem more like a businessman than anything else. Anyways, Dunwall Sewer Master Keep opens up this for us. Then, there's a map, a sextant, some bullets, some bolts, some more feathers. Then some processed whale oil. And now, you might notice, a new rune has appeared on our heart. Granny Rags' magic was cloaking it from us, so we wouldn't see it before. And what else? But it's on a shrine to the outsider. So, I guess it's time to talk. You find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between Granny Rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, you just killed the greatest assassin of the age. Did you do it for love of the Empress or Emily? Or was it the primal desire to rise above other men? No. Do you even know why? I did it out of my love for Emily and for the Empress. The Empress loved so that she would not be forgotten so that her death wasn't in vain. Emily, so the same As for Slackjaw, maybe letting him live. But he, but he said, you live life with your fever in one hand and a whiskey in another. Your gang has been all but decimated, so you have no power here. But still. There's nothing it's nothing personal, Slackjaw. It's just business. Well, that's all of our problems taken care of. Slackjaw is no more. He had a cross he had a bow on him for some reason, strangely enough. But it's clearly a murderer. The outsider doesn't lie. I've learned that much from my interactions with him. Which means that Slackjaw wasn't the best man. You can't take care of people non lethally but it's a hindrance to the progression of the future of Pugla. So it's best if he is dead. It looks like his man is also paid for Well, at least we won't have to deal with him as well. Heart shows 
one one rune and one bone charm rune. Go through here now. So let's continue onwards. All right. Down there. River crusts as well. Lovely. So we got bolts to deal with. Them crusts. The people though. It's another story entirely. Your eyes are on him. Alright, do not look in my way. These crusts, however, are. One crust. Two crust. Three crusts. The crusts are dealt with. Of course, I generated a lot of noise there. People don't seem to be on to me yet. Let's keep our gun equipped, actually. It's better yeah. utility. Yeah. Not bad. Although they seem How did orc pass me by. All the others down to the sickness. They're not attacking. I don't have anything to take. <laughs> They're all just survivors. Hiding out in the sewers. <laughs> to survive. Hey, we maybe tomorrow it'll all be better. We, I have maybe I can go back home. Tomorrow. Maybe. There are no harm to me. I'll live. I'll rob them blind, of course. I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. But I'm not gonna kill I wouldn't them. come no closer. I ain't been feeling too well. We have concern what for each other. Tomorrow it'll all be better. Maybe I can go back home. Tomorrow. Interesting. No, I think I'm gonna let them live. They seem to just be trying to thrive down here. And they're not panicking like those other infected people were. So, we've got a decent enough life down here. We will need every healthy person alive. They're not labeled as infected. The children inside. I told her. So they must be healthy. They get to live. I have to keep this. So position. like I said, this doesn't mean I will rob them blind. Of course. Made. Is that elixir down there? So let's keep moving. <sighs> they have nothing to talk have about. Have you seen my I wife? Dark hair I about this tall. Dies. Sarah. I'm sorry, but I have not. Let's keep moving forwards. More river crusts to deal with, it seems. Our work with them is never done. We have our pistol here. Move forwards. Whoa, this is a lot of river crusts. Crust down there. This way. Damn it! I missed the shot. On. I need to use a little health elixir, and I gotta switch to my normal crossbow bolts, cause otherwise, actually, you know what? Okay, wind blast does nothing there. I thought it might help, but seems like it doesn't. Okay, let's go over here. This will probably trigger the one that's right there. And I was right, of course. And it's washed right down there. No loot on it. Okay. So this is the last river crust remaining, as far as I can see. Like crap. I mean to fall into the wash. Especially since there's a friggin... What you call it down there. Open up your mouth. 
there's some stuff right down here. Oh, I don't mind if I do. Come on. Stand up. Spiritual remedy. Use that. Another bone charm for albinos. You encounter white rats slightly more often. That probably is good synergy with the um, one that makes it so that white rats can be possessed for long periods of time. There we go. Dead. I'm kind of low on health. No, I'm not. There we go. Alright. Nothing more in here, it seems. Collected all the bone charms in this level, as well as all the rooms. Everybody that can be killed is... Which means that all that remains is to get the hell out of here. Sewer exit. No more, um, crusts from the looks of it. And bolt, I'll take that. I don't need any food or anything. And I'm not gonna eat rotten food as well. I'm gonna try to avoid it. I did accidentally eat it. Got the mad jumps there, Corvo. Mad jumps, mad respect. Maybe you can invent basketball after all this is said and done. Alright. Here's the sewer exit to the Hound's Pit, the Hound Pit's Pub. Let's return back to where we were betrayed for the second time. And here we go. All right, then. So, total hostiles killed of 46. We killed two civilians. Zero alarms were rung. Two dead or unconscious bodies were found. We had an overall chaos of low. Wow low chaos even though we slaughtered our way through that mission we had low chaos interesting uh we were detected we did kill people we recovered our weapons and gear put weeper campbell out of his misery helped slack draw defeat granny found five of the five runes eight of the eight bone charms one of the outshire shrines we only found two of the three sokolov paintings I wonder if the other one was maybe hidden in a place that could only be reached by a rat, because I do remember encountering a few of those places, because otherwise, I thought we had gotten them all. Hmm. Oh well. I'm not gonna go back and replay the whole mission just to get that, because really, the Sokolov paintings are just for money. So, continue onwards to the next mission. The Hound Pits Pub, The Loyalists. You return to the Hound Pits Pub to pick up the trail of your old allies and find out where they are. Get out. Well, where are we? Oh, there you are, Cecilia. Fancy seeing you here. Please, no. Oh, Cecilia. It's you, Corvo. Yes. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed, except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. Good. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. Kill he was smart enough not to come ashore, but I'll bet he's still out there, looking for you, is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Good God. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov, and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. God. So they're all dead. All but Lydia. Emily but Lydia. was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his be. allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. It is. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. 
seems so. So, it sounds like Lydia was not the only one that did you a kindness, Cecilia. Wallace probably knew what was going to happen, and he saved you. So Wallace saved her, as did Lydia. And now, they're all dead. All but Kalista are dead. Well, it looks like loyalists weren't so loyal after all. They were going for Sokolov too, which makes me think Piero might not have been in on all this. So the only ones that need dying, need killing, are the leaders. Pendleton, bastard who I never trusted in the first place. Havelock, who I thought was more honorable than all of this. And Marion, the bastard that I saved, should have left the rot. Right. Luckily, I know how to get through all this. So I am going to be doing this very carefully. Look at this mess. Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Threw the mask in the river, left out. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. With that crazy mask on, creeping closer and closer, ever closer, until... Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo, anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to men with our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying for the cover of the tall boys out back. Like you were, the other night. What was I supposed to do, stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's gonna be a new era. Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't gonna cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. He says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic. And the rats <laughs> are never gonna leave until we had a real called one back. He says the Outsider follows Corvo around. There's some curse on this city. That's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take him out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. Bastard size. They all are gonna die. Alright. However, I'm gonna do it in a very fun way. Need to get up to whip my former ground. No, no. Stupid god. Not gonna be easy though. This place is flooded with guards. Stopping time is gonna be our best option, I think. And even then we're gonna have to time everything perfectly. We got one guard up there. Get an eye on down here. Need anybody with signs of the sickness? Another night. Another control with you. So I'm not gonna just fight my way through all this. Emily, it may very well still be here. Doubtful, but it is possible. Slow, steady wins the race here. Slow, steady. Alright. Up here. Then up into my room. Penetrate the workshop. I think Piero dropped what's inside. Crackpot, natural philosopher. There is evidence that Anton Sokolov was held here against his will for some time. We can't determine what happened. Crap, 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 crap. The vision is in. Die. 
how did they know that something happened when I stopped time for the killing? I know you're here. Someone get over here. Alerts were started. They're dead, though. All right. My elixirs. Good thing I stored a few here. Emily. A letter from Emily. Corvo, remember before when I mentioned a special drawing I was working on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went, but I hope when we get back, you see this and like it. I'd like to take it with Dunwall Tower for us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Samuel was whispering to Felista about a flare launch that she was to use to call him. He told her to lock the door to my old tower. I told the Admiral to tell the others we are leaving tonight for a place called the Lighthouse on King Sparrow Island. I hope you get back before then. Emily. At least you didn't have to witness all of this madness. I swear to you. I will find you, and I will sad. Could the city get any worse? First, though, let's go and talk to Polista. She seems to be our ally in all of this, at least. Mm. And we all need all the allies we can get. I don't know what this contraption is, but I suppose I'll find out before too long. Polista's still alive in here. Hey, don't you? Kalista, it's Corvo. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily with them and they left. I couldn't do anything to protect her. Please find her. Make her safe. I will. Tell me more. All his talk of being an honorable military man, but Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. Something changed in the Admiral as soon as the Lord Regent died. It had been building up. Martin was acting strange, going quiet if any of us were near whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding the same position the Lord Regent had, and worried they'd be held accountable for what they did here, as the Loyalists. They would have killed me too, but Havelock spared me. Out of respect for my uncle, I believe. That's good Please, to talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. I Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the Watch won't see him. I doubt the Watch won't see him. The City Watch is everywhere out there. But I don't even care if they find me anymore. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure he'll take you to Emily. I'm sure he One will. last trip, I expect. One last trip. I had one job. Take care of Emily. I tried as best I could. You did a good job, Lista. Go after Emily. I'll be fine. I really can't believe they did this, but if they were willing to kill to get what they wanted, I guess they'd be willing to do anything. Hey. Havelock is a power hungry bastard. Today? I can't stand the yes. thought of her in his dirty hands. He, he knew you wouldn't let him use her. She won't be in his hands for much. I time. guess the Admiral had a change of heart. And maybe Martin helped him along. Pendleton just went with them. That coward. Letter to Callista. Lista, Fretna, I believe there is hope for Emily and Dunwall. I don't believe Corvo is gone. I'll be searching the river for him, but if you catch wind of him, shoot up a flare using the launcher I place in Emily's tower, and I will make my way back as soon as I can. Keep this tower locked and take care of yourself. Emily is going to need you when this is all over. Samuel. Samuel, you are one clever bastard. I respect you for that. However, we have a more pressing situation at hand. There are guards flooding this place. I need my supplies. So let's go and talk to Piero. Real quick. Hang on. Okay, as I figured, I am at the time for this episode. So, next time on Dishonored, we will be continuing to explore the Hounds Pits pub, wiping out all the guards here in a very spectacular fashion, if I do admit. If I do say so myself. Of course, that's going to be a little surprise for you all. However, um... Yeah, that's what's going to happen next time. Then we are going to go to King Sparrow Island for that lighthouse and rescuing Emily one last time. Anyways, 
I have been Solarac Dragon. That I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out some more videos by me, be sure to click on my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. I would very much appreciate it. Anyways, outside of all that, have a fantastic day, everybody. And I will see you all next time.